Hey guys, it's Adam aka Swimming Bird and welcome back to Kirby Triple Deluxe. We're gonna take on the boss of World 5. He is creepy looking, but he does have a nice looking mustache there. I have no idea what this guy is. He'll probably explode when we beat him, if we're lucky, but we'll have to see. Let's go on up the weird lava staircase. Of course, bana Bandana Waddle Dee's here to give me some juice. So we got Snowman, uh, Fighter, or Bomb. I think Bomb would give me some good range and probably do a lot of damage. So let's do that. Oh, there's Taranza, and we've got DDD in his web still. We've got to save him, hopefully. Oh, I <laughs> just destroyed that. No one else can follow me. Don't come up here, Waddle Dee. I've got to take on this boss all on my own. What is it? I hope he likes my cool wizard party hat. <laughs> the bomb one is really funny. I guess it's because it's supposed to look like the poppy bro. Oh, what is this guy? He's sleeping. Aw, what the heck? Oh, he's like a weird frog thing? What the heck is this guy? He's got a cute fire crown. Okay, I'm just gonna start lopping bobs at him. Oh, there we go. Bobs. <laughs> Here, have a bob. There we go. Bam, 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 bam. Doing a little bit of damage. Pyrabit. Oh, he's like a frog. Okay. All right. I almost thought he was like a rabbit or something at first when I saw the uh, the little silhouette of him. Okay, he's trying to <laughs> he's trying to make his way over. A frog that goes in lava is pretty scary. Uh-oh. He's trying to get me with his little tongue, too. Okay, bombs, bombs, bombs move over. There we go. We're doing okay damage. The bombs don't do a ton, but they do do a bit. Oh, let's get rid of that. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Please. Okay, almost lost my bomb ability. I'm going to quickly look at the other bomb moves, too, because I do have a few. I can self-destruct. Don't press release bomb when you prep it. Okay, so we can drop it and set it down. Okay, it's mainly just using the different bombs and leaving them on the ground here. You can, like, drop a couple on the ground there. But yeah, we do have to be a little careful because we could hurt ourselves. Oh, jeez. He's going to go up. Uh, no. Oh, no. No. Give me that. There we go. Uh, I'm really worried I'm going to lose my power. Then I have to rely on the stars, which they do do a lot dam a lot of damage there. But it is uh, a little tougher. Try to throw a bunch at him. Look out. He's got a big old belly full of jelly. He's like Santa Claus, but evil. DDD always reminded me of Santa Claus when I first like saw him. I thought his little coat looked a little like Santa. Still don't... Whoa, no, 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 Kirby! Oh, that was so close. Um, still don't know exactly what DDD is. Is he a penguin? Is he supposed to be like a sparrow? I've heard conflicting things. He looks like a penguin, but he dresses really strangely. Like he's some type of, like, daimyo or something. No! Oh, no. Oh, no. Please, my power. Oh, no, we lost it because I accidentally grabbed it and spit it out again. Oh, no. We got to beat the rest of Pyra bit entirely based on stars. Okay, can I suck that up? Uh, it does look like it. And I got fire. Nice. Okay. Haha. -ha. I don't know if this will do that much damage to him, though, is the problem, because he's made of fire. But it gives me some immunity frames. So at least I can do that. Oh, get him, get him, get him. I could grab these stars, but I don't want to lose my firepower necessarily. That's cool. I know that uh, a few other people mentioned that the uh, the bosses and the different enemies in the game, if you eat their attacks, like if I ate a Poppy Bros bomb, then I would actually uh, get the bomb ability from that. Uh-oh. He's mad. I'm just trying to use this as a time to damage him a little bit, but he's going into his crazy rage mode. Okay. Whoa. He brought down a volcano. And he's got these little things to hop on. I'm going to eat my, uh, my drink here. Uh-oh. Okay, so hiding right here. That looks good. Look at those scary, like, ghosts of dead lava things. What the heck? Okay. We gotta be careful and, like, look in the perspective and make sure we're going in the right spot. I'm gonna try to go here. Oh, that was very close. Okay. He's coming back. Get ready. Here it comes. Blam! Through him. Use my flame. Because, yeah, I like that it protects me. He's leaping off the floating islands, shooting stuff everywhere. Let's get rid of that. There you are. Go! Ah! He's about down to half, so yeah, we've got a little bit of a fight to go here. It's going to be tough using only this fire attack on him. Probably doesn't do as much damage. What is he doing? Oh, oh, there I am. <laughs> I thought I was behind him. So I was like, where, where did I go? Okay, got a bit of damage on him. We're doing all right. Here we go. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Don't do that. Look out. What is he doing? Oh, I'm not immune to fire. I have to be careful. Grab that and block. Oh, no. Oh, he grabbed me with his, like crazy fire tongue. What the heck? And he scorches the area, so I can't see. We are close to death here. This is gonna be tough. This will be close. I really need to use my, like, fire uh, thing. I'm glad that he missed me somehow there. I keep forgetting to look out for his crazy tongue. Uh, do the fire. There we go. I gotta use that a lot, because that'll make me immune to his attacks. Guys, cross your fingers and wish me luck. I'm, uh, I'm a little worried about this one. Okay. Nope. Oh, there we go. Yeah. I like the immunity of that. Nope. Oh, jeez. Okay, what if I can hit him with a star? Dang. Okay. He got out of there way too quickly. He's gonna he's gonna launch himself again. 
try to hide and look out. Where's he gonna land? Look for the shadow. There he is. Get him. Get him a couple more times. I almost feel like I should just wait and spit the uh, the stuff at him. There. Let's see if I can. Nope. Can you grab that? No. No. Please don't kill me. Uh. Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. He's so much. He's so close to dead. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Hadouken! <laughs> we got him. Nice. <laughs> that was a close one. Almost ran out of health again, but we beat him. Oh, all of his stones fell on his head, and he's never put back together again. Sorry, you big old toasted toad. We beat ya. <laughs> the king of the explosive land has been beaten. There weren't quite as many explosion explosions in that uh <laughs> that boss fight as I was expecting. Although I did use the bomb for a bit at the beginning, so. There are plenty of those. All right, world five down. I think we might be on the last world here. We'll have to see where are we headed to next. We gotta take this sunstone. There we go. And the dream stock should grow to new heights and we will see. I think we're getting closer though, guys. This might be the last world. We can finally catch up to Taranza and take him down and save King DDD. And we'll see what his fate is. Oh, there we go. It looked like all five of them united. Yeah, I feel like this could be the last world here. Let's check it out. We're going to try the first level as well. What is this place? Hey! <laughs> it's grown. You can proceed to the sixth floating island. All right. Royal Road. Sounds pretty cool. Is this where Taranza lives or something? Here's level one. Let's do it. We've got four sunstones to find here. So uh, we got to keep our eyes open. There we go. It's been a little bit since we played. I got a little distracted with Mario Kart and some other games. But I do want to try to finish this one up for you guys. And uh, Tamodachi Life is coming out soon. And you, it might already be out if you're watching it right now. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to try to play that. So I'm like, i got to try to finish up some of these games here. Uh-oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, we're doing like a full attack on the castle here while all these cannons try to shoot at us. Yeah, I think we're getting close here. This looks like we're, like, invading Taranza's castle or something. Let's try and look at those flags and see what the heck those things are. What the heck? It's a little bug waddle do or something. Very strange. Okay. I want to see if they have any powers. Let's eat them. Nope. They're just little, like, evil bug guys. Ugh. They're everywhere. Should have grabbed the bell ability. One I could have... Uh, <laughs> Kirby cannot float when he's fat. That's a little thing to remember. Because I, uh, almost, like, fell right into that pit. See if I can get this star. There we go. Hey, you're a spear guy. Let me grab that. I do like the spear ability. Okay. I don't know. We have three sunstones to look for, not four. I think we can find them. Just gotta keep our eyes open. This is the last world, it looks like, so it's probably gonna be tougher. Let's hide behind this. Make sure this cannon doesn't get us. Hey, Birdon. What are you doing? Oh, I didn't mean to get you, but that's all right. I like you as well. Let's grab some bread and fly, fly, fly. I think that's why Birdon is here, because we can fly a bit faster. And these little bug guys are adorable. I feel bad beating them up. Oh, these things will break after a while. I should grab Rocky if I can. Yeah, let me just give me Rocky. I like having the immunity to stuff if I need to have it. Whoa, there we go. It's hidden. Look, right, look out. Yeah, everything's gonna break here if I'm not careful. Oh, blam. And let's see what's down this way. Something. A ninja! I love ninjas, but I killed him on accident. It's alright. There's like a cool honeycomb thing. This must be some type of uh, hive for the insect people that follow Taranza, because he's like a spider, so I'm not too surprised. I am surprised that they're kind of adorable little insect evil guys. I wasn't expecting that. Bugs are always really fascinating and cool, but I'm always like a little put off by them in real life. Let's do the hammer. That one's really powerful. And we don't get it that often. Or like, but yeah, bugs are fascinating. I really like bug type Pokemon and stuff like that, but in real life it's like, eh, I wouldn't actually want these creepy things around here. Is that a, I couldn't tell what that was. He might've been a sword ability one. I think I'll stick with the hammer for now though. Ugh, this place is so gusty. I guess we're way up in the sky. We got a mini boss here. Let's charge up my hammer if I can. Ugh, look out, out of here, out of here. Some of the attacks that give you immunity I really like, because I'm not that great at, like, dodging and blocking. Uh, I think we can do up and blam. Oh, he hit me there with his sword. There we go, got him. He'll drop a uh, sword, but I'm going to stick with the hammer for now. See ya. <laughs> I kind of hammered him right as he died there. I bet there's something hidden if we can get up here. Yep, what's this? Um, but yeah, I was going to say my uh, little Maxim tomato. Maxim, those are good. I was going to say, though, my favorite Pokemon is Heracross, and he's like a big old beetle. Whereas in real life, the beetles are pretty creepy. The fact that they can fly around and they're huge is a little crazy, but these guys are adorable, of course. 
everything in Kirby's World. There's a couple weird or ugly enemies, but they're still charming in their own way. Let's look out for this guy. Those are the Bronto Births of this world, it looks like. That's gonna shoot us. I'm trying to make sure I don't like take a cannon on accident to a spot that I am gonna miss something. Here we go. This is kind of taking me along here. I want to make sure I don't miss anything. What is that? Ooh, can we shoot upwards there? Because look, it looks like there's a spot in the spikes. We might have something hidden. Yep, in a little bonus area. That's probably how we get out. Let's try this real quick. Some tip of bonus room. What are we doing with this? Oh, I think... Can I cut this with the hammer? I hope so. We need to hit the bottom one first, right? Uh, can't... Can we do that? I think we need to hit it. Can I kick it? Because, yeah, we need a way to cut this, but I don't have my sword with me. There we go. Nope. <laughs> the hammer abilities do not cut the rope, apparently. We might need to come back if we can find an ability that will actually do it. So there's a wheel over here, but I'm worried I don't... Yeah, I don't have another item that I can use. Okay, so we're gonna have to come back to that part. Uh, there was a little wheel guy there, but nothing that could cut. It looks like I need the uh, Gigante Edge. For some reason, the hammer, even with the fire, couldn't cut the rope, so I'll come back and, I'll sh of course, I'll show you guys the, uh, the sunstone there at the end. Let's grab Spark. We barely ever use Spark. Don't want to get anything in the way. Oh, we don't want that sleep power, for sure. Okay, Spark, go, go, go. Let's build up our Spark power. Run back and forth. There we go. Now we're all Sparky. Do not hit the sleep ability, though. <laughs> that is not something we want to do. Run, run, run. There we go. Spark's got a nice little shield thing to it as well. There's a spear. That probably would have let us got get through there if we could have gotten it in time. Whoa, what is this down here? Oh, oh, I killed it. Okay. <laughs> I was like, why, why did I hit that? I wasn't sure what that was for. Oh, we didn't let it go all this far. So hopefully if we go backwards, we can open that. That's probably the third sunstone. And of course, I'll get the other one later. Here we go. Throw that at the end. But yeah, it looked like we just had to cut the rope there. And I knew, I knew that sometimes if you get a power from like a boss or something, it is kind of wise to grab it and hold on to it. I should have done that instead of uh, taking the hammer for so long. But, you know, live and learn. There's a beetle. I love beetle. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit you on the head there. I just want to eat you and steal your powers. The beetle is my favorite here. Thank you guys for watching. We're going to finish up by just showing you how to get that last sunstone. Next time, we'll continue on in World 6, Royal Road. Hopefully, we'll get close to the boss and save King DDD. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. I am going to uh, see what keychains we got. I think we got a couple. And then we'll end out. Thanks again for watching. Definitely check out some of my other series. If you love Nintendo games, I'm playing Mario Kart 8 right now. We're going to play Tamodachi Life, which looks super fun. I downloaded a bunch of Miis for that. Oop, we got Cupie. Aw, he's adorable. What else we got here? Como? Hello. I think I might have had that one already. Or I have another spider. Anyways, Spideroo. See you guys next time for more Kirby Triple Deluxe.